Hi everyone, oh. <laughs> from Medusa Crowns. Good Thanks evening. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, let's just move that down a little bit. Up a layer. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hi, thank you for joining us. Uh, we are Baron J from Medusa Crowns, as already mentioned. Uh, we are independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products that you see us use this evening. Uh, if you are popping in, do say hello um, and we'll put you in the random draw at the end of the live stream. If you're watching the replay, still pop in a, a comment and we'll put you into the random draw at uh, on our next live stream. So yes, so uh, you may have noticed that it's another different background. We are at another location. Um, on location, once again. Yes. <laughs> so. It's Mitoso Crafts on tour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's bribery for having a roast dinner cooked for yes. us. We um we then have to use my mum's craft room <laughs> to do the video. So um trade off. Yes, so it was a lovely roast dinner anyway. It was very nice, thank you. So yes, so we've got quite a few of you already uh saying hello. Uh if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to be um notified when we are live or when we upload new contents as well and don't forget to hit that like button as well uh, so hi Maureen, Helen, Cindy, Gian, uh, Catherine, Mandy, Steph, Rose, Kathy, Wendy, Sandra thank you so much for joining us and, <laughs> Co and Connie, Connie got lots there, Lisa, um, Marion thank you so much yes lots yes, waiting so keep it coming and uh, we'll um, as soon as we've started the uh, demonstration will I'll start typing in your names for the la uh, for the random draw so yes so before we start we'll do the the, the drawing the yes drawing. so yes. you're gonna win somebody is gonna win this lovely tag with the lovely gold hoops so we're gonna give that one away now um, yeah so do you want to hold that and yeah. I'll we'll flip rounds so yeah so this one was created from our previous live stream using the in the pine or pine wood dies and pine wood planks embossing folder with playful alphabets and evergreen embossing folder as well yes if you notice we've got a wall behind me as well but jay's not crafting tonight because we're only going to be doing one project but it's just as well because we've got a wall behind us and he can't spread out so um <laughs> Lucky you. Yes, so the winner of this tag um, is going to be. Let's have a little, little wait, drum roll. Yay! Crankfish Designs! <laughs> yes. I think, um, it's, is it C? Celia? No, it's Lisa, isn't it? No. No. No, yeah. I got I confused. I think it's C. -C. Yes, um, so uh, Tradefish Designs, congratulations. Um, email us your details at Baron J at mythoscrafts.com. So yes, so congratulations. You that will That is working its way to you. Yes. So cool. good, lovely, yes. So as Jay said, message messages for your details privately and we'll get that one in the post to you as soon as possible. Yeah. So tonight's card is another Christmas card using the poinsettia. Let's go around that. Using the poinsettia petals stamp sets. Um I'm also gonna and the dies. Cool. For this one, um, I'm going to be using another die set as well, but I'll show you that as it's down and about, just for one die in it is what I wanted, but it's just nice. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so, so hopefully it's not going to be a, a long video tonight, because as I said, we are on location, we haven't got everything with us and our normal setup, so we've just, but we wanted to come to you live anyway, um, just to, because that's just what we do. So just one card. Some of you may have seen it already because it was for the Casualty Crafting um, Design Team Blog Hop, which I did on Friday, just gone. But I wanted to now make it and show you how I did it as well. So um, if you liked that card, you're going to hopefully enjoy the demonstration. Yes. So good. I reckon cool. we will crack on. Jay yeah. is going to do all of the comments and yes. we will I show you how it's done. Yeah. Cool. Good. Excellent. So let's just get this ready. Um, so that there is the obviously the stamp set which we're using, as done with the with the dies. 
Well, yeah, and I'm going to be using... I'm not using the Freezing Friends stamp set, but I brought it along anyway because it coordinates perfectly with the Freezing Friends dies. And I'm going to be using one die out of that and then the flower dies, the poinsettia dies, these ones here out of this one. Actually, the medium and the small is what we're going to be doing on this one. So first things first, um, what we will do is I have got myself some, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut and prepared everything. So we have got my card base, so we have got, cut this down to, it's 21 centimetres by 14.6 centimetres, scored at 10 and a half centimetres. And that is always our card bases, which we use. So I'm just going to fold and score that as usual. And that's going to just sit to one side. I've got myself some black Whisper White Thick and some real red cardstock. So the black layer is measuring at 12.9 centimetres by 8.8 .8 centimetres. And I've got a bit of Whisper White Thick here. And what one did I do? I've got a bit of Whisper White Thick here. Sick. Whisper White Thick measuring at 12.6 centimetres by 8 centimetres. Okay, and I've got one here which is eight and a half, and I'll show you why I did that at eight and a half in a moment. Because I, you'd think to yourself, well, normally you'd have the layer which is an even border all the way around. Now, if I do it at eight centimeters, you can see I've got a thicker one top and bottom, so that's the size which it's there. But I'm going to cut a channel throughout all of this, which is going to be about half a half a millimeter, so that hence why I have cut it down half a half a centimetre small, smaller, so five millimetres, and then when I create that gap between it, then it will then go to edge to edge, and it will then create the even border, giving me the channel which I need in between. So go over that again. So black layer 12.9 by 8.8, .8, and the whisper white thick is 12.6 by 8. All right, so I'm just going to cut my second one down. To eight. Jay's going to convert that all over to inches now for us. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to cut this one down to eight centimeters. I'm going to do two. I don't. I only need one of these, but I'm going to do two anyway because I'm going to be doing a little bit of watercolor and water water painters. So as I've got them out, I may as well have two ready for another card, at another date, another time. All right, so that's those bits right there. And then obviously the, the, the real red piece is 12.6 centimeters and about by about an inch and a half. So that will be, sorry, I'm working between the two. I am, I'm, I'm really hot tonight. About four, four centimeters. Yeah, I'm really warm. <laughs> it's because I'm not in my normal normal routine it's, it's it throws you out when you're in a different area so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do the water coloring first and then that can then dry whilst we're doing the other parts so i'm going to grab one of these first things first i'm going to do some die cutting and then i'm going to do the water coloring so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the freezing friends dies and all I'm going to do on this is I'm just going to, it's got this lovely double stitched edge slope. Okay, so perfect for hills. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've seen all of the dies coordinate lovely with the, the stamp set. Not going to use those. But I just love the fact that this is a double stitched one. Going to bring the sookie in. Open this up. I'm going to bring my plates in. So I've got plate number one, two, um, five for the magnetic one, and a three for the cutting plate. So what I want to do is I'm going to pop one of these in like this. And then I'm just going to then angle this at a slight angle like that. Because it's a magnetic plate, it holds it in place. It's not a very strong magnet, but it's strong enough to hold it where you want it to be. 
okay so if you're expecting it to be stuck to the board then you're gonna be you're in for a shock it's not okay um so just wanted just to let you know that it's a very it's a it's a weak magnet but it does it does do what it's designed to do okay and we're just going to run that one through now And then that one that comes out, and then what that's gonna do? Oh, as he drops it on the floor, that there gives me two pieces now, and I've got this lovely double stitched edge right here. So I'm gonna do that on both of these. I'll take your card and just double check the measurements. Do we have? <laughs> There's a ruler right here. I've got one. Okay. And so I've just got the second one right there, like so. So I go back and I'll go to one side. Now I'm just going to pass the machine to Jay. I'll pop it on the floor. Well, over there. So we've got our two pieces. Like this. Like I say, we're only going to be using one tonight, but whilst I've got the watercolour out, as I said, um, it's fine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do some watercolouring. So you want to decide what bit you want to have as white and what you want to have as your black and white or what you want to do watercolouring on. And that's fine. So I'm going to have it this one here because I want to be able to pop my sentiment up the top here and then I'm going to colour this one down the bottom here. So with my sentiment, I have decided to use the May, um, May Magic and Wonder Bloomless Holiday. And that fits perfectly because it's quite a nice large sentiment. fits perfectly in that area here. So let's go ahead and just stamp that one first. So I've, I've kind of almost done it to make sure the top part is 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 suitable when you're when you're cutting it at an angle. So you, you can just make sure the top part is suitable for what sentiment you decide you want to actually use. It's because I'm on a different table. I'm just going to use a stamping mat or a foam mat underneath. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp that first. So I'm using this. I'm using the Memento ink here. So how is everyone? And we're just going to stamp that off center, just like that. And there we go. That's the first one done. And we could, would, the same thing on this one here, we would do that. So I'm just gonna put the one which I want blank and white to one side and bring the one which I want to do some watercolouring on down here. Pop this to one side, because then that can let that ink dry. Now what I'm gonna do, I need my foam mat, not my foam mat, my craft sheet. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna get a bit wet, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna go onto the table. There we go. All right. Dum, dum, dum. Let me just. I need to tidy up as I'm going here because I'm I'm limited to space today. Pop that away. So I am going to do some colouring. So I've got here the water painters. Okay, so these are the new ones, the new designed ones in the catalogue this time, and they come in three designs. Three stars, so you get a, a thin one, you get a, a slightly a fatter one, and then you get the one which I'm going to use here now. You get the one which is the a, a wide, wide one. Okay, so that's the one which I'm going to use. So if you're unfamiliar with water painters, obviously they are a brush, and you can put water into them on one side, and then you can use them for painting. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab myself some paint. So what I brought with me is I'm go I've got myself some reinker, so some Memento Tuxedo Black reinker, and I've got myself some of the Frost White Shimmer paint. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a shake up, and all I'm going to do is I just want to pop a dab of this on the work surface. You know what I mean? It's just the tiniest amount. Now, even that there is going to be sufficient for what I need. Because all I want to do is, if I add too much, because black and white is going to make grey, so I don't want to make it too grey, but I want to add a little bit of shimmer to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm then just going to drop a couple of two drops of black memento reinker into this. I'm just going to then, actually Joe, would you do me one favor? Would you just fill that up with a little bit of yeah, water for me, please? One. So what I've got is what Joe's just gonna go and get, um, fill up for me is a container, so with some water. Even though I've got water in this, and I can squeeze this, and the water will come out. It's just another way of me cleaning it. And you don't want to flood it too much. You just want to have a little amount. And then I'm just going to then mix that paint. Now it's gone into that black. Okay, a little bit more water. And then what all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paint... Is that too bright? Like that. side there. So if I want to do a little bit more, I can just do some black reinker here. Just put a bit more water into it. And then I can then just do those edges a little bit there. So you're going to get a very uneven line but that's kind of what I want. I don't want it to look too, um, too perfect. And you can see there the shimmer which has been added to it. Okay, so I'm just going to just go around and just go over these just a little bit more. So a little bit more water and just go down in one swoop. That's it. And then I'm just going to leave that to dry. So you can see now, just that, can, is that coming up on the camera? I can't quite see. Oh, yeah, I can see it there actually on the, on the screen. Yeah. Can you see just that tiny amount of shimmer paint which I use? Can you see how much that has actually just transferred over to that black ink? Not much, but it's just enough. So you can just use it sparingly and you can actually get yourself a really nice effect. So let's do the same on this other piece. So I'm going to go a little bit more because I know I need. So I've done three drops of shimmer, of um, black. And then I'm just going to add some paint. A little bit of water, squeeze it out. And mix. So 
So you can see that there, and then all we do is we will then just paint. I'm just going to add a little bit more. One. There. And even still, that there has still added a lovely amount of shimmer to it. So we're just going to let put that to one side now and that can dry up. So with cleaning, the reason why I just wanted this here, I'm just going to run that through and just clean that brush up a little bit. Can I just have a little bit of tissue paper, please, yeah. Jay? And I'm going to obviously change the the paper the 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 water in this now because obviously it's now it sucks the water back up into it. So you will just need to be aware of that one. But we're just going to clean that one off. And then that will be fine. So there we go, that there is that thing. So the water painters, I would highly recommend these. They are lovely. They're really, really nice to work with. Until they take this away. Yep, so I'm now just gonna pass this over to Jay and he's going to take all of this away you, from me. You don't need it now, yeah? No, I don't need it. Just one little thing for you as well, is if you were to use less water, um, it still worked on this here, but because I've cleaned, the brush some of the, the the frost white paint has now transferred into this as well so if i'd use less water and then use this another brush and to use and use this water you would then still transfer some of that that shimmery effect over to it as well it's kind of how i stumbled across across this effect because i had a must have used it previously and that was how i found it so that water is also good as well so if you clean it and then use that water for other things you will transfer it over so just a little bit of a tip for you so I'm done with that now that water would be pretty in a snow globe yes they that would be yeah it's one thing we haven't ventured into yet we've got the snow globes actually from last year's um, catalog but we um, we still haven't ventured into putting water in them um, I know some people have so yes it would. So that there is those two pieces right here. So the bit which I've designed it for is to go on that one. And that one there is for that bit down the bottom. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to put that one to one side. And... Just let that dry up. Can you just pop that on the windowsill, Jay? Just yeah. so it doesn't. It's, um, so it's a little bit damp on the corners, and the same with that one there. Okay. Yeah, it just needs to dry up a little bit. So what we're going to do now is I am going to bring in my black cardstock. I have got myself some embossing stuff. I've got myself some Versamark. So we are going to do some heat embossing. One thing I will need the heat tool plugged in. So I have got the embossing buddy here and I am just going to just prepare this and take off any any sticky finger marks. Okay. Stamp sets I'm going to use is the medium and the small poinsettia. And I've got myself some Versamark. So I need two, I need one medium and two small. So I'm just going to just get this inky. And we will stamp this down. So, 
so we have got one there and we are going to go with two two of the small ones so you're probably thinking black poinsettias um, I don't, it's just a different take on it, so, but I think they look quite nice once they are finished. So we've got those ones done, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use white embossing powder. Just make sure, there it is it. And I am going to grab myself a bit of scrap paper, which I'm sure is around somewhere was in that bag actually, yeah. I knew I'd seen it. So I've got some scrap paper and I'm just gonna pop this underneath because all I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna chuck this white powder on top of this. And let it catch the flowers. Okay, pop that back into the fold, into the container before it gets lost. And you can see there, we've got everything done. So I'm just gonna heat set these now. So heat tool. So that there is now embossed and you can now see you've got a white glossy. Is that coming across on the camera? I'm not sure if it is in this light, but it is. Okay, so we've got those. What we will do now is I will get Jay to die cut these for me. Oh, actually, no, I'll be able to die cut them here, I think. Okay, so... Yeah, no, it's all right, I can do it because I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. So we're going to die cut these. And the, the coordinating dies for these are lovely. Especially the um, the embossing ones as well. So these ones here, which just emboss the pattern into it. If you've watched our videos before, you will know that there is some. Um, we've done some lovely ones with the red velvet paper. So I'm just going to line these up. So again, I'm using the magnetic platform here. See, so it's it, it when it's. Uh, an embossed one because the paper is warped a little bit it's it's a little bit trickier so I'm just going to just manipulate this just a little bit to flatten it out and we'll pop that down and we do that one there as well so it's just a matter of finding it was, which is right there. Pop 
pop the plates on and run that through. So what's everyone saying, Jay? That's good. The shimmer or a uh, hair gel for the globe is a great idea. And yes, I think that is pretty much it. Cool. And then we'll just do the second flower, second small one here. And because I kind of like stamped them in the same orientation both times, it's pretty, it's easy to find. It's easy to find it again, lining it up. And there we go. Slat sacks. Pop those to one side. Oh, I can see Jay's just um, put a comment on there. Yes, the trade fish. You won the tag. So I've got this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a Wink Stella brush. Because we all, a Wink Stella is perfect. I did initially try this with the, the paint. But because it was... The paint neat is too strong so it whitens it out too much in my opinion um was too much if i used a water painter and i made the water painter too wet it pulled on here and it didn't it just didn't soak into the paper quick enough for me and therefore it didn't it just didn't quite work well enough for me so if you were to use a dry brush, well, well, you'd need to mix the paint with some water. So as long as it wasn't too watery, you could probably do the same with the paint. But a wink of Stella has just got just enough amount of liquid to glitter and makes it easier. So if you have got a wink of Stella brush, this is easier as well. And it's and it's clear. So. Whereas the, the frost white has got a white tinge to it, so it will fill it in a little bit more if you go down neat. So I'm just going to do those and I'll do these two here as well. So I can see... Do some comments. We're busy tonight. We've got lots of you on, so thank you very much for joining us. Um, I can see Jay is making some comments, which is great. Um, so, yeah, so obviously, if you do live local or if you live in the UK or any of the European countries, so France, Germany, Netherlands, or Austria, you can shop with us as well. Um, Alternatively, we've got our support our channel as well, which Jay has put the links down um, for us. We are also in the process of um, of sorting out some tutorials as well. So we mentioned last week when we did our um, stepper card that we were going to do some written tutorials and put those up for sale. They are actually over on our blog right now. Um, so matusucrafts.com, if you go on there and then you've got tutorials, they are in there. There's a lot of the Stamping Glam Squad tutorials are for sale. And as we write new tutorials for cards, which we feel need written instructions alongside the, the video as well, they are on there um, for you to purchase if you would like them. All right, so just head over to our blog and you will find them over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick these two together. Now, I've, I've, I've rediscovered our fine tip glue pen again. <laughs> um, we've had it for ages. And I, you say fine tip glue pen, and you just, I just think to that you, it needs to be done for intricate stuff. It doesn't. You can use it for anything. And it's actually a really good glue. It's a very quick ad ad adhering glue. You don't get as much wiggle room with it. Um, but I've noticed it is actually very good. Um, it depends how much you put in it. Because it does. It's, quite a thin glue. it's a very thin glue, but it sets and holds. Once it once it sets and holds, it sets and holds. Whereas Tombow glue just gives you you get a little bit more wiggle room. Um, so I'm going to go down and pop this in here. 
That's it. Now, see, it won't set and hold as much on this one here because it's going on top of embossing as well. So it won't set and hold as much as the other ones have. So I'm just basically layering these up now and I'm offsetting. And that's going in like that. And I'll pop my fine tip. So you've got a little needle on the end here, which you can then pop into when you can see it in better light. It's, it's better. There you go. And then you can go in. And we've had this for ages, and that, that nozzle has never, ever dried up on us. Yeah, just make sure that you put in the... Just, yeah, the just make sure, a word of warning, if you do get the fine tip glue pen, don't just shove it the lid on and expect it to be on there. You do need to make sure this little pin does go into the end like that, and then it go, and it feeds it through. You can feel it. it. You can feel it. It's gone in. We have known people to put, just push the lid on and bend that um, bend that wire. Therefore, it will. It's not going to do its job. That that tip is going to dry up and close up, and it will make the glue. Um, well, the glue itself will be fine, but it won't come out the nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll need to buy yourself another one and then use that one as a as a top up, um, which we know some people have done. So that is now set and it's given me a little bit of adhesion so I can start to just manipulate those a little bit. So you can see there we've got a lovely black and white with some shimmery Winker Stella in there. Pop that to one side. So we will now get the other parts ready. We're going to need to take some sprigs and we're going to do some gold cutting as well. So I'm just going to bring in my dies once again, and I need that one, I need that one, and I need this one right here. I'm just going to pop these to one side, I'm just going to pop them away whilst I can, because there's lots of little ones in this set, you don't want to lose them. So we will do some cutting. <laughs> Lisa said, happened to me with the glue lid. <laughs> it did, did it? Yeah, it happens. We've known it uh, happens. Uh, it's a so couple thin of that if you're not aware of it. Yeah, so fine tip glue pen, just make sure you're aware of that, um, that pin. But apart from that, it's actually it's very very good. We I don't I, I haven't used it for ages, and it's only recently that I've started using it again. Um, because you can use it to add um, shimmer to your yeah, as well. You it's can. like what's it called? Crystal effect. But crystal effects. Crystal effects. Yes. But thinner. So we're gonna do some of these here. So we have got this one, which has cut out this inner part of the flower, the centre part, and then we've got these little sprigs right here. <laughs> Do you want the thing to go? <laughs> I'm always doing that. Just chuck it. But they've got you've got your love to take your pixel, and you've got all of these release holes in your dies. So do as I do say, not as I do. <laughs> And we were just going to cut two of these out now. So these little sprigs and so on are perfect for using up your scraps. I know. It's, we're on a different table, obviously, as so we're in a different location. Um, and the, the table which we're on is quite rickety, but obviously you're not noticing it because the camera is actually attached to a to a separate unit, which is perfect, which is ideally how we'd like our camera to be at home. Um, but everything on the table is just wobbling. <laughs> Mum, I know you're watching, you do need a new craft desk. <laughs> we need to go out shopping one day, don't we? A stable. A stable desk, yes. 
So we'll just use these little pinholes just to release this die right here. So that's that one. And the last one I need to actually do is the, this one here. And I need to do this with some red. So I'll just grab some more red cardstock. Oh. Let's try and get a bit of scrap. Machine back in again and use the die here, it's just a little bit of red. Yes, Jay's just mentioned we are close to our next 5k milestones, so please um, let everyone know who we are. Subscribe because we are a couple of hundred away now from, well, less than a couple of hundred away from, so. Yeah. It's just a personal goal. It's just a personal goal. We don't get nothing different for it. It's still exactly the same. It's just the next milestone for us. And that's that one. So I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second. Can you do us a favour, Jane? Just pop those dies away so that they don't get lost on the table. And there we go. And so these two bits are designed to work with each other. So you've got the inner and you have the outer part of these poinsettias. So you can then line them up like that. So, which I think is really, really nice. You right there? You're looking for the dice? Oh, right there. <laughs> you just know when you look for something and it's right in front of you, but no matter how much you look, you can't see it. And because you put the black label on. <laughs> I know, it's my own fault. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Never is mine. No, it's never Jay's fault <laughs> at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this one up. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of this fine tip glue pen on the back of this red. So this is where the fine tip glue pen comes into its own. Because you can control... control the amount a little bit better and get some real fine bits hence the name fine tip glue pen Chase laughing at me and we will then stick this on the hardest thing is going to actually make sure you get it in the right area so there we go pop this lid on Like so. And that there is how that looks. Okay, so pop that to one side. I'm thinking now we are ready, nearly ready for construction. Ooh. Ooh. Indeed. So I've got myself some dimensionals. Can I have the black strips over again, please? Yeah, I think. Let's try. Yeah. And it's that one there, which is the one which then coordinates with that double stitched edge right here. So the black piece of paper which you had, which you took from me, Jay, to measure. I did have it. I put it back somewhere. He said he put it back somewhere. I put, yeah, I, put, I placed it back. Is it that part there, which is buried yeah. underneath? And he said, I've got a bit of black card on a black table. Didn't work, it doesn't quite work. So that's that. And then when that one goes in like this, now because of, you remember me saying at the beginning, I cut it to eight centimetres rather than eight and a half. Now when I then separate them, I get this channel between the two. But what I'm going to do to separate that channel is the red card is going to then go in, in between it. So I just need to now just make sure that I get it in the correct position. Yeah, that's that. So it's going to be, I'm now, I'm just, just going to eyeball the amount of distance. Yeah, 
which is needed there. I'm going to actually use Tombow glue because I just wanted a bit of wiggle room on this one. And we're just going to lay this down flat on that black layer. And I'm just going to pop this in so I've got an even distance between the two the, the two sides. So that's what I mean by that. So this is real red, which I've used here. And then what I'm going to do now is we're going to now use dimensionals. I'm going to use lots of dimensionals, so please don't be shocked. <laughs> and we, these are new. We actually haven't got around to doing our normal thing with this yet, unless there is a... Um, Black, good. So, if people are always wondering, why do we put lines on our dimensionals? We pop these lines all the way through. Because all it does is it helps identify what backing papers we have and haven't taken off. And it's very handy when you are using lots. Be careful of that. <laughs> yeah. I know. And just a little bit on the end, because we use the whole thing, so a little bit on the end to identify where we have and haven't done. And that's why we do black lines. So all we've used is a, a marker, so we've got a, a blend here. And it's just going to help us identify where I've taken the backing papers off. So I'm just going to just fill this one up now with lots of dimensionals. Because I don't want it sagging at all. So somebody's gonna win this card, so get your comments in. We've got lots of you watching tonight, so there's gonna be lots of opportunities for some, some new people to win potentially this evening. But, um, so do get your comments in, let us know. And I'm going to pop dimensionals on here. It doesn't matter where you live, we got, we're sending the cards worldwide. Obviously, the, the further you live away, obviously, depending on where you live, the longer it's going to take to get to you. But we are, we will send it to you. 37 names down so far. 37 names down. We've got 63 of you watching. So there's lots of you that can still win. In like that. So this is where these lines come into their own. This is why they are very helpful. Wow. <laughs> Just, well, wow. A it's a lot. Okay. So you've got lots of di lots lots of lines on here. Lots of dimensionals. And now I can easily. So if I get distracted, I can easily come back and I know what ones I've taken it off. I don't have to put my greasy fingers over the top of these and take away any of the stick. So that's that's basically why we do it. It's just a quick, simple way of marking and identifying. And especially if you're working in, in awkward light as well, it's even better. It's gone so dark so quickly. It has gone very dark very quickly tonight. Okay, that one there. Yeah, winter, autumn is definitely, autumn and winter is definitely on the way. The nights are drawing in now. But it's still really warm, which is nice, but I do, I do like it a bit colder. I'm a cold person. Hence why I loved our holiday, which we had at the beginning of year to Norway to see the Northern Lights at minus 10 temperatures. Loved it, it was great. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna then pop this one up the top. Like that. So you can now see it, we've got that lovely channel of red going through the whole thing now. 
So what we can do is we can now stick this to the card base. I'm, I, again, I'm liking these big borders at the moment. I think it's really nice. It just makes everything just pop and stand out just a little bit more. Rather than going edge to edge. Let's show off the cardstock. And because it was a black and white card, it made sense to have a little bit more white showing. But I wanted that black layer just to separate it from the two. So that's that in there. So we will need in a second. Um, I've got myself some of these red rhinestones. So I'm going to be using these in a moment for some decoration. So again, look at this. Two videos on the trot. I'm using rhinestones. I know. Sit down, everyone, please. <laughs> so, good. They're ready. We will now bring in our poinsettia. And that poinsettia is just basically going to sit over like this. Before I do that, let's stick on the, the centre part. So I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen here. So I'm mixing between the two glues now. And we will Like so, I'm just going to hold that in place for a moment. Yes, the red does set it off. So I'm just reading some of the comments here. Love the kiss of red popping out. Yes. Um, Christine, yeah, name's down for um, to win this card. So your name will be down already, Christine, because you've commented. Um, so basically, you just need to pop your name down in the comments, which you're doing. So anyone who hasn't, just get your names in the comments, and we will pick a winner to win this card from those comments. Um, yes, that's it. So good, so that's in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop some glue along this part here and at the bottom and a little bit more so you see your non-traditional christmas colors but i think the reds but i think it still works quite nicely so the challenge which we had, obviously, for the for the casually crafting design team was black and white with a pop of colour. So this was what I did for it. And I think it fit the brief quite nicely because, it, well, it is black and white. But that red, I think, just works lovely. And because of that double stitching as well with that dye from the Freeze and Friends bundle, I think that's absolutely lovely as well. I just love the double stitching on it. So we will just... Shape please up a little bit. So we are nearly finished. So we are just going to pop this in here. So these little sprigs, we will need to just grab some scissors. And I'm just going to, these are going to get put in. So we just need to cut and manipulate these a little bit. And I'll take the second one. gonna go in like that look good so we will use a fine tip on this one Stay. so we will just put some fine tip glue on the front and on the back of this so it gets stuck to the card and the poinsettia underneath just manipulate that up and stick that in Same thing on this one here. And here we go. Right. You got that over 
everyone's name down. Yeah. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning, get your names in, because we will be finishing up soon. Um, so finish, to finish this card off now, we are going to be using the gems here, so the red rhinestone basic jewels, using our lovely take your pick tool. I'm going to pop like that and one over like that there and that's it <laughs> and that there is my black white with a popper color Christmas card with the shimmery lines using the water painters and I just love this thick fat water painter I think it's absolutely lovely so somebody's going to win this card so we'll just give us a moment um we are going to get the next computer in and we are going to pick a winner for this so just bear with us whilst we get ourselves set up for this one Jay's just going to do the um Jay's just going to bring the computer in. That's it. And Jay's going to do some talking to you once, oh, I get that, <laughs> once I get that part done. Okay. So dark. You can't. Oh, no, it's all right. So, yes. So, um, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, get your comments in before Barry um, stops the comments and add that on to the random drawing website. Uh, last week, I tried to. Or no, on Wednesday, I tried to show you these, this card, but obviously Tommy had other ideas. So this one was for the Paper Craft Crew Challenge um, and using the Coming Home stamp set with the Home Together dies and the Playful Alphabets there as well. So more pictures can be found on our website on that and our Trimming the Town TNT Online Craft Retreat. Uh, it's still open for the worldwide option only because the UK option has now closed because we have ordered the products for the attendees. But the worldwide option is still open. And yes, and we have started uh, putting up more online classes for next month. And we'll hopefully be doing our in-person classes in Basingstoke as well next month. Starting from the 13th of yeah. October if we get enough people interested. Yeah, but so. alongside that we will be doing the online class using the same stamp set and we might have to change one of the Tuesdays because we'll be doing the in-person class on the Tuesday evening and we'll probably just move the online class the following day, which would yeah. be a Wednesday. So evening. keep an eye out on that. Yes, so check out. Does there look like there's any new names just coming um, at the very end down there? Disha. Disha. Yeah. New name. And I believe that is it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. So we'll just set that up. And then I love this card. When Barry um showed it to me, I was like, wow, amazing. I was like, what are you doing with those embellishments? <laughs> Wow. Okay, so <laughs> 44 names we have in tonight. Amazing. So let's flip you around. And the winner is going to be... Drum roll, please. Rebecca Deary. Yay! Well, Rebecca? Yes. Oh, sorry. She was, she was okay. look, uh, she was watching on... Um, on I think her husband's yes, sorry. computer Or else I didn't see Rebecca under I was like, where are you seeing Rebecca from? I'm like, it is Michael. So I'm like... <laughs> but I and then she moved. Out. Okay, <laughs> lovely. So Rebecca, that card... Congratulations. ...is working its way to you. So if you just want to give us your um, private messages, your address, and we will send that one to you. Thank you so okay. much again. Don't forget see you on Wednesday evening. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and the bell icon, please. Excellent. See you next Wednesday. Take care. See you later. Bye. Bye.